Okay, this is another card collection. It's August 1st, 2022. My card collection has expanded since the video from March, May? I don't remember. It started with an M. And these are all the ones that I could find that I think are new. Uh, I'm gonna start from, so most of these are from Kickstarter. I'm gonna start from, no, oh, I'm slouching. I'm gonna start from the oldest one that I backed, but this is not the order that they arrive, which is kind of frustrating sometimes. You like back a bunch of stuff and they all arrive later than they're supposed to, or, you know, because of the, you know, the plague, things happen. So these three sets are Japanese um, spirits, ghosts, uh, demons, mythology, and um, they are really cool, and I don't remember if my camera has flipped or not. I will have to work on that later. Uh, these two are normal, and then this one goes in the dark. So the white print is, um, they provided a UV light, and I think it sounds like there might be batteries in it. Uh, and it goes in the dark, and uh, she gave us stickers too. It's by Amelia Chan on Kickstarter, and let's see, red is Akaoni, Goi. Goi means ghost, yeah. This is Ao Oni, and this one just says UV light playing cards, and I think it is, yeah, it's it's Akaoni. So these are really cool. Um, <clears throat> I haven't opened any of these. A lot of these I'm like, do I like them enough to open them, and even if I resell it, if I decide to resell it, um, like, you know, I don't mind if it loses value or whatever. Uh, a lot of them I have not decided on it yet, and yeah. Okay, so the, this next set is really, really, really pretty. It's called Fluid Art Playing Cards by United Playing Cards. So it came in this pretty little foil uh, cardstock packaging. And they sealed it with a uh, wax. And there's red, blue, and green. Of course, I have to get the full set. Um, and I already took them out, so I didn't have to like do that on the camera. And they're supposed to be like marbling, like rocks and stuff. And it's so beautiful. These aren't open either. I can't decide which one I want to open. Um, but there's gold foiling on the um, the specs. The specs are uh, gold foil, so. For red, I got 33 out of 1,000, green is 553 out of 1,000, and blue, I got 8. That's such a good number. And these are beautiful, amazing. I did not buy the box that came... Did it come in a box? No, mine came without the display box, so it was okay. And then this one... Uh, okay, so I really like sea, under the sea stuff, because I really like mermaids and like Ariel. She was always my favorite, and like my family nickname also is like mermaid inspired. Um, so this deck, it was really, really underwhelming when I received it. It's false anchors, um, deep sea playing cards, and each of the suits is like different, a different type of coral or something like that. Um, it's just super underwhelming. Uh, the design looks great online. Uh, but the box, after I saw it, I was just like, mm, not into it, not into it. And then next is one deck playing cards. Uh, let's see. Rob by Rob Halifax. Where is he located? I think he is UK, yeah. So these are really cool. These cards are square. It's a one deck playing card. And there's a lot of different ones on them. Uh, it looks so different, right? Okay, so... There are games that you can play with this. Uh, it's on here. Uh, checkers, dice, chess, dominoes, and... Oh wait, it says on the side. Checkers, dice, dominoes, and more! <laughs> so there's like... <coughs> there's numbers, there's that number. So I guess this is the dice number. This is like regular playing cards. Um, some of them have black on the back. So I think some of them you're supposed to use it. So if you, oh, here's a layout of how to play a uh, chess, which I don't know how to play. So yeah, I don't know how to play chess. Oh, they give all these extra cards and stuff, which is super cool. Uh, the blanks for something. Uh, there's reds. There's layouts for. Oh, there's backgammon. I know that. There's dom. Here's dominoes. I need to sneeze. Here's backgammon. I'm gonna sneeze. I'm allergic to air conditioning. <laughs> yeah, so that's really cool. I haven't played with it because I'm not really... I got it because it was cool. 
but it's not uh, of any practical use to me. So I may or may not get rid of it. That might be the first thing to go. Uh, and then next is the, this is by Third Way Industries. They always have the most beautiful, beautiful, beautiful cards and their artwork is like kind of like sexy, but also like it's not that sexy. But it's, okay, it's great. Um, this is their poison set. This is the, the regular one. It's green and it's uh, not limited. And this one is the other <laughs> poison one. I forgot what it's called. I think it's... <clears throat> Oh, oh, this is Belladonna. It's this right here. And um, I've got number 1191 out of however many it says. And this one is Ace Piss. It's, I think it's a um, spice or something that's poison. But this one is holographic. I freaking love holographic stuff. Like this is the um, ink piece one that the little mini ink piece one that I have that I mentioned last time, and it's also holographic. It's just so pretty to look at. I love all the holographic stuff. Like there's this one right here that's super holographic and super pretty, and I freaking love it because <clears throat> this one's really really cool. This is by Art Playing Cards, um, and they had this uh, campaign for dragons or time machine and i thought the dragon was really really cool but i really like the time machine uh book by hg wells so it came in a giant box like this and if you open it slowly uh, well that's bad if you open it slowly the, the time machine thing turns uh as you open it because it's um it's like a trigger mechanism. Well, that's really bad that the glue fell off. I think I can just glue it back on. And then here are the cards. Uh, <clears throat> I forgot which one, but when you open it, it also like it also does the flip, 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 flip when you open it. Um, I will have to look into how to put this back together. I have to drink something. This next set is Enchanted Gems, Emerald, and Ruby by Relentless Venture on Kickstarter. Uh, Ruby is my birthstone. It's a July birthstone. I took off the plastic, I guess. Uh, so I picked Ruby, and I got 201 out of 500. Really, like, there's not much to show with these right now because uh, none of them are open. And speaking of holographic, uh, these tarot, set, tarot, tarot, tarot sets are so beautiful. I'm only going to take out the top one, but that... It's just all rainbow, all holographic, and the box. Mm, boy, let me tell you about the box. That is B E A U to four, if you know what I mean. Oh, here's uh from Jackson Robinson. Is that his name? Jackson Robinson. Yeah. Uh, the King's Wild Project. Uh, this was so they did a. <laughs> there's this uh YouTube channel called Decking Around. They did a 24 hour live stream last year. Uh, I actually won some stuff uh, from them, which is super great, and I watched for like a majority of it. And I got number uh, 14 out of 700, and this is edition number 13, like his 13th project. And he he did this during the um, <clears throat> during the live stream. He drew all the cards and stuff, and it's called Stiff Upper Lip. It's very uh, Winston Churchill. If I remember, he put the Winston Churchill like speech. Uh, somewhere on the cards, but I can't find it right now. But anyway, this is a design that he made during uh, the the live stream. And then here are some of the cards. Okay, so my camera is flipped, and I have to remember that's a double. Is that his? Jack, that's his. Yeah, that's his signature. Oh, I I don't understand this like order. Why is it backwards? Okay, here we go. That's super cute. So like they're all uh pugs is it called pugs but yeah that's the design and he he drew them on stream which is super cool uh they did upload them uh the vod to their channel so it's it's a 24 hours so you're not going to be able to like watch the whole thing unless you have a lot of time and if you watch it on like double time speed like i usually watch things uh next is alter worlds by <clears throat> Cash playing cards. So this is best based on the um, Escher. I forgot his uh, first name. Escher's uh, the M Infinity Staircase thing. This thing. Um, they they provided the laminated uh, 
card box. I don't remember if I had to like uh, get this as an add-on or what. And orange is my one of my favorite colors, and I bought an extra orange one. But if you buy the four decks, it comes in a box like this. So there's four colors, and I don't remember, but I think they might all be the same on the inside. And there was supposed to be stuff like um, Easter eggs in the decks, or maybe on the on the back covers of the cards that you can uh, like find. And during the campaign, if you find it, you can tell them about it, and they will like give you a freebie or something. Let's see, for purple, I got 707 out of 2,000. For pink, I got 2744 out of 5,000. And blue, I got 1756 out of 2,500. Okay. Yeah, they're all a little different. So that's cute. Um, I haven't opened it. I got an extra of the orange one so I could open it, but I'm like, every time I have to open like packaging, I'm very careful about it. And this doesn't have, I don't remember which card company, but they have like the perforated edges um, uh, cut out right here. So then when you open it, you don't have to ruin your sticker, uh, which is what I really like. Um, <laughs> but none of these do. Okay, next. These are really, really pretty. This is by um, Diamond, Diamond Playing Cards. They're in, I think they're in the Netherlands. Uh, I say that because these are tulips from Holland. This is the Holland tulips. Yeah, I think we all know what the Holland tulips look like or are. Ooh, I got 344 out of 500 for the pink. So their campaign was for white. And I think um, if you they reached a funding goal and they released pink and yellow. And I was like, pink. Pink, of course. Uh, but I haven't opened it. I have like more from them. Um, those are really cool looking ones uh, from last time. Um, yeah, I like their stuff. Um, I like their artwork style and it doesn't have like faces, which makes it look less creepy. Um, okay, <laughs> freaking love these. These are Genesis playing cards. They have three colorways. Um, I chose the hollow one and I ended up getting two. Uh, and my numbers are 1093 and 1081. And I'm like, I have to open one of these because I want to touch it because they're so pretty and I just want to like play with them all the time but I couldn't decide which number I wanted to open so I haven't opened them yet but I like I just have these two decks on my desk and sometimes I'm sitting here I'm just like ooh, rainbow like why wouldn't you right um <clears throat> okay second to last these are from my make playing cards which they also made the plastic deck this is one of my favorite decks that I own uh, they're clear plastic and you can see through it but not like what it is on the other side and so that's the red suits and these are the black suits and they're super cool and it comes with a black uh, colorway as well I chose red because I prefer reds <laughs> I prefer red red is one of my favorite colors my top colors uh, these are also by them they have the um, <clears throat> like their standard decks uh, <clears throat> these are the fluorescent, fluorescent colors and I got, uh, what did I get? I got the, let's be my fudge. I got peach, pumpkin, and bubblegum. So one of these is peach. Oh, this one's peach. This one's pumpkin. Um, I really like oranges. And honestly, I could not tell the difference between these two online. And I ended up getting both, which in hindsight, like, I could have done without maybe this one. I like the more fluorescent one. And then this one is the bubblegum one, which was what the campaign was about. Um, and I did cut this one open because it's not the, um, <clears throat> yeah, it's it's easier to slice open. And I have three colors, so I was just like, I'm going to open the pink one. This one's super pretty. It's literally, it's fluorescent. That's what it is. And uh, I love it. Um, I don't think the, um, the reds and the blacks have... So they, they put these in order of um, numbers, so it's 111s, 2222s, two, two, and uh, <clears throat> yeah, there's no color difference between the different suits, uh, which I don't know if it's something that people prefer. Um, also, I'm still like, <clears throat> I'm salty about cards that are, you know, right-handed, world-oriented. Yes, everyone, most people are, you know, right-handed. But there are people like me, and many others I'm sure, who are left-handed, and we would love if things were easier for us. So this is a set that I bought from, oh, it's from Cardamundi. I didn't know that. 
it's a <clears throat> this is a, a set I bought from uh, this website called uh, lefthandedthings.com or something like that. And uh, they have uh, the numbers, the pips on all four sides, which means whether you're left handed or right handed. So I think I found my stuff this way. <clears throat> you can see the numbers, right? Uh, if you do it the opposite direction, you can still see the numbers. It's more, you know, fair. Because I realize when I'm playing card games or like <laughs> Uno with my family, um, <clears throat> when I found it one way, I'm like, can't really see the numbers. So what I always end up doing when I'm playing card games is I usually if we're playing on the carpet like on the floor I'll put it like behind me or I'll just stack them like this and then just like you know lift it up and it just eh, you know not everything is fair in life but still it I don't know if it makes that much difference to um you know add numbers to all four corners okay lastly but not leastly is pocket ace playing cards they're playing cards and poker chips they came with like care instructions which is really cool they're like they're gilded on the edges and they're like don't do this to them because they'll mess up the gilding which you know great this is a uh, dry cards if they get wet <clears throat> they're made out of paper of course you should do that throw them in rice or something and i got the <laughs> don't actually listen to what i just said i got the <clears throat> the blue and coral well, so blue is mist and then this one's coral um they're super like simplistic and it's it just, I love that it's super simplistic. I think the the back of the cards are also just this black, black with an X on it, and it's foiled to and indented, so it's like super pretty. Um, and I really do want to open them. Oh, and the it's not even black; it's navy, which is super cool. And then this is like the piece de resistance of um, these playing cards specifically, is that <clears throat> this campaign came with poker chips or I picked two half the poker chips and they're legit so I got the like this the variety pack which has all of the colors plus uh 10 or 10 I think that's 10 of like one color that you choose and I chose this lavender purple color because it's uh my favorite color for sure my favorite color um that's legit man uh yeah so my dog is barking because our gardener is here thanks for watching bye